Hello and welcome to video number six of the advanced course for NADN. In this video, we will be building a complete workflow from scratch. So let's dive right in. The objective of the workflow that we're going to be building today is to use the form trigger to uh, take a list of uh, company URLs as an input. Then we will be enriching these URLs using the People Data Labs API um, while making sure to manage all errors. Then we will append all of this data of the companies that are in Europe to a Google Sheets before summarizing the data and sending a um, Slack message. So the first step here is going to be to add our form trigger. Um, this will allow us to have an interface that we can share with people where they'll be able to uh, submit this list of URLs. So here we have submit URL form. We'll leave the description blank for now and we'll just have one field called URL. Now I can test this step and I will see this uh, form pop up. And here I can have a list of URLs here. We have Google, NADN, Facebook, Penny Lane, and Spendesk. When I submit the form, I can go back to the workflow and I will have the uh, data here as one item. The first thing we're gonna do here is pin this data. Uh, we don't want to have to go back into the form and submit it again and again every time. Um, we can just pin the data so we have workable items um, to start using. The next step is we want to split out these URLs um, so that we can go over them one by one. From here, we can use the edit fields node to separate this uh, string of URLs into an array or a list so that we can then split the one item into multiple items so that we can loop over field by field. So here, we're just going to name this URL list. The type is going to be an array and for the value we want the list of URLs except this time we're going to split it by the comma value. So here when we execute this we're going to have the uh, list of URLs directly here. We don't need anything else so I'm not going to include the other input fields. Now I can use the split out node to take this URL list and turn it into different items. And we can move over to the enrichment part of the workflow. So what we're going to want to do here is um, iterate over each URL one by one. So we can use the loop over items node. Here, I want the batch size to be of one, I want to go through the URLs one by one. So if I execute, here you see from the five items, we go down to one. After looping over all of the items, I can add an HTTP node here, and we can take a look at the documentation for People Data Labs. Here we're going to use the SQL query, so it's a get onto this URL, so I can copy over the URL. Then I see here we have a header for authentication, so I've already set this up. I have generic credential type is going to be a header auth as described in the documentation. And I already have this set up with my API key. Here we have the body. So we have two different fields that we need, the size, so the number of results that we want to get as a result, and then the SQL query itself. So we can send a body size one and SQL and I can just copy over this query. Now we should be ready to execute, but we actually need to replace this google.com with the expression for um, the current URL that we are working on, just to make sure that we're not always looking up Google, but we're looking up the right company every time. So here I can replace all of this website equals dollar JSON dot URL list. And here actually we need to separate this out because this is going to be 
part of the string. And the final uh, apostrophes. So here when I execute this, it should perfect. So we have a status 200. And we have the information about Google that was returned. The first thing we would like to do here is handle any potential errors. So how do we do this, we're going to use an if node. And we can check if the uh, status field here is, which is going to be a number is equal to 200, sorry, is not equal to 200. This means that we don't have a positive response. And uh, we need to handle the error. So if the uh, answer is not 200, then we can stop and throw an error, error on PDO enrichment. If we don't have an error, we can just loop back over. And that way for all five items, uh, we're going to do this enrichment. So starting again from the form trigger, we can execute all of the nodes. And uh, one by one, these are all going to be enriched. From here, we can set an edit fields and uh, just maybe make the information a little bit easier to access. Here we have a very uh, deep JSON. So what we can do is we can pull the primary information up uh, top level. So what we want is to find all of the companies that um, are in Europe. So what we're going to do is add a few fields here. The first thing here, let's execute the full work. So here we can just execute so that we have all of the uh, data and we can keep building the workflow. What we'd like to do here is take all of the data we need and move it up top level. So we're only going to include specific fields. And the fields that are going to be useful are the name, the number of employees, which is going to be a number employee count, then we need the country, which is going to be somewhere in location, mm, country United States, we need the geography, or the continent. So we know if it's Europe. And finally, we're going to add the amount of funding because this might be useful. And if we look in here, total funding raised, perfect. So when we execute this, uh, we now have only the main information that we need um, for every single one of these companies. Now we're going to uh, filter this with an if node. And here we're going to um, only keep companies that are in Europe. So I want the continent and here where string is equal to Europe. And here we're only going to have three companies that are in Europe. I have a Google sheet here with uh, name employees, country and funding. And we're going to add a Google Sheet node, we're going to append rows into the company and data. And here we're just going to map the fields. So we have name, employees, country and funding. When we execute this, it's going to add all of the names to that Google Sheet. The final step in our workflow is going to be sending a summary message in Slack um, so that we know how many companies we added um, to the Google Sheet. So we're going to use the summarize node here. And we're simply going to be counting the number of names, which is going to give us here the length. We could have done this with a um, set fields node that we uh, using an expression, for example, but here we have a built in node that we can just use. Finally, let's add the slack node, we're going to send a message. Here, I already have uh, my authentication set up, it is simply uh, 
an OAuth, so I can just uh, log in, it'll open a window and I can log into my Slack account. We're going to be sending a message to a user, in this case, myself. And instead of using a simple text message, we're going to use blocks. Blocks allow you to have a little bit more control over um, the Slack messages, uh, for example, including buttons. And what we're going to do here is add a button that links back to the sheet so that it's very easy to access. In the Slack documentation, we have a few uh, templates that we can use to help building blocks instead of starting from scratch. We're going to use this one and modify it for our use case. So we're going to start with a maxim. Here, we're going to confirm what the workflow just did. Your n n workflow just added x companies to your Google Sheet. And we will replace x in the um, expression directly in any then. We don't need these bullet points. And here we can just add here is a link to access your Google Sheet. And here using the button, I can uh, change the text, Google Sheets, and I can just copy over the value directly here. So now this I can use by copying all of this directly in NADEN, and I can paste the block builder directly here. So obviously, I now need to change the x that I mentioned up here. And I can simply do this with an expression here using oops, darjson dot count name. And when I execute this, I can add a little notification message. When I test the step, I'm going to oops, when I test a step, it's going to send the message with the direct number of um, companies that were added in the sheet mentioned in the message. So now we have the full workflow. Uh, what we can do is do a final test, run it A to Z, and make sure that everything is working as expected. So I'm gonna get the list of URLs again, refresh the page, Test the workflow. Oops. Okay. Now, refresh the page. Here I'm going to unpin the data so that we can start afresh. And when I click test step and I put in my list of companies, submit form, we should see everything go through. So here, we get all the URLs, split them out, start looping over, get enriched five times, all of them were 200s. We go back and we get our main data top level, add them to the Google Sheets, summarize the number of items that were added to the sheet, and then send our final Slack notification, uh, confirming that the workflow was successful and giving a recap. Thanks for listening to video number six of the advanced course. In the next video, we'll be covering how to handle files in your NADN workflows.